Thanks. Yeah. yeah. Well, I'll start by saying not everybody needs servo motors for their system, but there are certainly use cases with our machines, especially with very large machines or machines where you're trying to get the maximum amount of capability out of your system in terms of how fast it can cut and how fast it can rapid between cuts, uh, servos are a great option for that. The term closed loop basically means that the, the motor is uh, keeping track of where it's going compared to where it's been told to go. And so servo motors have an encoder inside of them and they can keep track of where they are. And so that's nice in that um, if the motor does experience a problem or just the, the setup experiences a problem, the, the machine crashes or a bit breaks and the, the motion is altered from what is intended or planned, then a fault signal goes back from the motor to the controller and the controller can stop and say, hey, uh, you need to correct this. So that's a nice safety feature um, that you get from having a closed loop system. And yeah, the servos are great. They are, they're faster, they're more powerful, they're quiet, um, and they're you know, more accurate in terms of how well they hold position. Again, not everybody needs that, but for people who want the best, now we have our servos.